Hey y'all, it's Lock Dree and I am back with another video. What's up y'all? So check it out. This is October 6th. I got my hair installed December 5th and 6th, almost two years ago. <laughs> so that means I am 23. 24, 22, oh my God, 22 months in, y'all, 22 months in, I washed my hair last night, I still braid and band because I'm not totally locked all the way, I washed my hair last night, and I put some of my little black dye here in the front, you know, homegirl a little older, this lock had broke maybe over a year ago and it's it's growing it was a lot shorter than this um anything new since last month it seems like i'm just gonna do these vlogs once a month because there's really not too much too much for me to talk about i thought i had red on my teeth um about my hair besides the bunching and i'm sure y'all don't want to keep hearing that so um, other than that, there's nothing much that I need to talk about with my hair. I'm just making sure all these braid, I mean, all these rubber bands are out. And I just wanted to come on here and chat with y'all for a minute while I take my hair off and just let y'all know, you know, this is everybody's, everybody's journey is different. Look at this bottle. This is um, black castor oil. And this bottle is just not a good bottle to be in. I mean, look at my hands. I have it in a plastic bag, and I don't know for some reason it is coming out of this. But I was just going to put some here in the front, y'all, on my hair. But anyway, everybody's journey is different. Um, everybody will have their ups and downs. I'm just putting some in between the parts that's showing everybody will have their ups and downs of what they go through and i only do this one time um when i wash my hair and i just started this actually um a couple of months ago uh just putting it on my scalp for the third time everybody will go through their journey the way they go through their journey we'll all have ups and downs and it's nothing no, it's, it's nobody's business to say whether it's good or if it's bad or if somebody is complaining about something all the time. This is our hair and it's going through a bunch of things that our hair didn't go through before when we were loose naturals. I mean, my hair was long, y'all. My hair was really, really long and um, I was happy with it, but my butt was just tender headed every time I got my hair done and it just hurt it so bad. And finally, you know I decided I decided to get the locks and I am I'm happy I made this decision and um, for everybody out there I'm, I'm hoping everybody's happy that they made their decision because in a few years when our hair is flourishing really flourishing we all gonna laugh at this and be like wow we up here cracking up because we complained well, not a complaint, but, you know, we had our little issue that we had, and now hopefully it's over, and my issues is the bunching. Um, I feel like my hair, of course, was way longer, even with the shrinkage being real, was way longer before all this bunching started, and this bunching just, just got me all jacked up. But guess what? I'm getting over it. It's bunching. It'll get better, as you guys can see. That's a lot. It's more on this side than this side. And it'll get better, and that's just the way it is. You know? So, anywho, it's already been five minutes. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to be here on, on here that long because I had things that I needed to do. But um, please leave a question or a comment down below. I'm glad you guys are still subscribing um, to my channel, even though I haven't been on here that much. I mean, I do have some things on there that's pretty informational for for new people and um, everybody on their lock journey, you know. And if you are going through any issues that I'm going through with bunching, I definitely, definitely want to know that um, for sure. Y'all, I was in Costco yesterday, 
<laughs> I had to stop this lady in her track. She was an older, older lady, sister, of course. When I tell y'all her locks were to her butt, she had them for, there's another rubber band. She had them for 13 years, and um, her husband, he chimed in too. He was like, yeah, she started with hers way up here, and look at her locks now. I just love my woman locks. And I was like, okay. It was almost damn sexual the way he was saying. He was like, I just love my woman locks. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. The support from the men that you with. Um, my guy in Florida, you know, I'm just a different breed whether I'm married or not. That's my hair and I'm going to do what I want to do. But how many of you guys do that you guys are with or husbands or fiancés, boyfriends, how many of them had an issue with you guys getting your locks? I just wanted to know because he made my day the way he was like super into it and he was like, oh my God, I loved them since the first day. I loved them when she talked about them. And uh, I, it, was, it was just a joy to see. Also, um, shit ain't no also. <laughs> it was no also. That's what I wanted to tell you a story about that. Um, and she said her locks did did well. I mentioned my bunching to her, and you know she's the second person with locks that's heck long that's been having them for a long time. And when I mentioned the bunching, they're like, "What is that?" Because they didn't experience it. So that just leads me to question: What's up with this bunching? How did it start, and why is it here? You know. Anyway, I know I'm sorry, y'all. But that's just all I got to talk about. And I'm sure somebody want to hear. But anyway, she's the second one with hair. Actually, the third one with, with locks um, for a very long time that's, that looked like. And then she asked me um, if I had micro locks. And I was like, well, I started with 461 locks. And um, Sister Lock said over 400 is, is Sister Locks. And she was like, yeah, but yours look micro. And I was like... Well, I mean, I don't know, I guess, I guess, because they're still short and little and I don't know. So I didn't, I didn't, I thought micro locks was like hell of them, but hers was, hers swelled really well. And I guess mine, the, the swelling on mine, like a breakage right there, the swelling on mine is not that big. So like this one is pretty much locked all the way down, y'all. Hey, but I can see some little thin, thin areas. But probably because y'all know I just wear my hair in a ponytail. The only time I wear my hair down like this is after I wash it and have a braid out for a couple of days. Once she retightened my hair tomorrow, um, the next day it's gonna be put up because that's just that's just how I like to wear my hair. But anyway, she asked me if I had micros, and I was like, told her how many locks that I had, and I didn't think I had micros, and. She was like, oh, it just looked like it because they were so small. And I'm just wondering if they say micros because they're, her, it's, it wasn't as swelled as hers. Like, hers was, like, super swell. Like, I don't know. Like, double double this. And, and this is pretty much lock, you guys, until right, until right here. Let me see maybe right here and then look at all of this that's loose that's like two and a half three inches that's probably not gonna lock so I'm gonna have to wait until all of this grow down before I can even cut this stuff off um, anyway hers was very hers was just pretty and they were very swollen and I see a lot of women's sister locks what that theirs are are um, their locks are swole and I don't know maybe mine will stay this size thin like this I don't know but I love them I think they look good so this is my hair down you guys um yeah this is my hair down that's how that's how that's looking yep and yep so I'm gonna wear it down like this today and tomorrow Y'all, I just don't like it in my face. And then when I'm serving food on, serving, not food, drinks on the plane, I just don't like my hair in my face. So that's the problem. 
So here it is, a little time. Getting to retighten tomorrow. I got a little, I got a little undergrowth under there. I mean, I feel like maybe a little half an inch. Oh, not even a half an inch, quarter. Use <clears throat> this side here. Yep. This side, you guys, has always been like my thinner side right here. Um, look at how far that goes back. And again, I do put my hair up a lot. So this side look goes like right back to here. But then this side is like here. So um, it's my right side. It's my most dominant side. It's the side I use often. So, And then I also use this, you guys. Um just to lay down these edges. I don't want to put too much because I am getting my hair retightened tomorrow and she will be throwing some more back on here. So I want to try not to get them inside my locks, which I normally do. <laughs> and it's my little toothbrush here. Just kind of push. That's all I do, really. And I'm kind of like can't hardly do it on this side because I'm right-handed. <laughs> so, um, yep. So that ha that's how that goes. And that'll just stay like that. And it's just a little bit. Y'all know this little thing right here, which I'm almost done, but I scooped some out and put it inside of a uh, to-go travel little thing. This thing was $10. But I like it. It works pretty good. Um, Yeah. So that's it, y'all. That is, look, this side gonna have to go here. That's gonna have to go. Here. That is my hair. Let's see if y'all can get a, a better look. If y'all wanna see that. And I'm sorry if y'all hear my fan in the bathroom, but this is the better light here. Y'all see that right there? This is the better light in the bathroom for me to do this vlog for y'all. Thank y'all for locking in with Lockdree. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know this video was just kind of rambling and all over the place, but I just really want to get on here and say I am 22 months in. I am almost two years. I am very, 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 very happy with my decision. Just got to get used to the, the journey, you know, the stuff that's going on with your hair, like... You know, when you got, you a loose natural, and you know, I was a loose natural for uh, like eight years, and it hurt it too, y'all. And you know, when your hair is flourishing and it's long, once somebody does it or whatever, or you do your own hair, and then you all of a sudden want to get locks, and it's like breaking off and bunching up, and you just kind of like, what the heck is going on? But like everybody says, um, I had one subscriber, and I'm sorry, I forgot her name, but she was like, okay, you, you at the two-year mark, your hair, your hair is about to start flourishing, just watch. All the stuff you're talking about with your hair that you dislike right now, your hair is about to be flourishing a lot, and you are going to be surprised within this next year, you know, since I'm reaching my two-year mark. And I'm hoping so, and I appreciate her for saying that when she said that. I was like, oh, thank you. You know, finally I'm hearing something like that and it just made me feel good. And for everybody out there that's going through bunching, that's going through their locks um, breaking off, y'all, we just got to hang in there, keep each other up, um, encourage each other, motivate each other to keep on going. And if we find any solutions, just share them so we can, you know, try the solutions out i'm still using um i still had a little bit of the sister lock shampoo so i used some of that last night and the vo5 to um wash my hair i'm thinking even though i hate the sister lock shampoo but i'm thinking about buying another bottle and just trying to roll with what was made for these locks so even though i made a video about how I hate it it don't set up but I think I'm going to get another bottle and just use it intermittently with my other um, shampoo the VO5 I like the VO5 okay y'all um, I had washed my hair in the past six weeks that was my second time I figure I don't want to wash it that much because I feel like when I wash my hair 
it's doing the Benjamin Button. It, it's just, it's, it's locking. Like, I mean, it's locking, but it's bunching back. I, I don't feel like, like it's growing, you know, um, which I'm sure it is. But like here, before when I did that, it was here. Like, how did I lose that much hair? But all this bunched up is probably like two, three inches. So I just feel like the more water I put in my hair, the more that my hair is bunching. So I just said I'm just gonna wash it twice, um, if not just once. But my hair really felt icky in the, um, my hair felt yucky at the scalp. So I really, really, really wanted to get in and do my scalp. And that's where I really focused on too, y'all. This video is getting so long and I'm so sorry. I hope y'all watch it to the end. Focus on the scalp. Like, really, when you braid, do not braid tight. Braid loose so you can get your hands in there and you can really, really scrub and get that stuff off of your scalp. Focus on your scalp and then just let the rest of it just run down your locks. Um, before, I was just focusing on everything. Now, I'm just totally focusing on my scalp and I'm just letting the suds just run down my locks. That's all I have for y'all. Thank y'all again for locking in with Dree Soap. Oh my God, I'm about to give my other uh, handle for Filington and I still haven't put those videos out yet. I am though. <laughs> Thank y'all for locking in with Lock Dree. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Please share my video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And till next time, peace. <laughs> so crazy.